Hi guys, I haven't vlogged in a while, so this is gonna be kind of a catch-up vlog, but I have been working for now a month, and you know, like I'm slowly getting adapted to everything that's new, but I'm still learning a lot. And today is one of my work from home days. I realized that I've never spoken to you guys about how my work is and like what the layout is, but I think I'll save that for another video. But today is one of my work from home days. I went to the gym this morning before I went to work or started working. Essentially, when I work from home, I'm doing admin work. So anything from checking labs to um, like speaking to patients if they have questions and also answering any questions that providers may have in terms of scheduling appointments, things like that. So that's what I've been doing. But essentially, if I don't have any new messages or emails to look through, I can use this time to do other things and so I need to recertify my ACLS BLS and I'm doing a pre-course self-assessment before I actually go to the class in a couple of weeks and I realized that there's so much I don't remember from ACLS which is kind of scary. I have my iPad here and we or they told me to download and get this book like this manual, Advanced Cardiovascular Support Provider Manual. Yeah, I met 32 out of 62 questions and I'm just realizing how much I don't remember. Yesterday, my friends and I went to a birthday celebration for one of my high school friends. He didn't even tell us that it was his birthday and I was just like, dude, I haven't seen you in so long and I didn't even remember, I went after work and so I had to quickly get like a little gift before I headed over. We did a escape room, which we ended up finishing with 17 minutes left, which is quite impressive. And then we went to dinner and then we went to karaoke and I got back at like midnight. So I'm super tired, but I still made it to the gym this morning. And that is the most important thing. A little bit later during my lunch break, I'm gonna go for a walk with Kush. <laughs> <laughs> we did this vlog now, so today we went to the view and we saw Golda and Thompson. You wanna see the photo? I'm about to make an Instagram post. Well, obviously, like, we weren't allowed to take photos when they yeah. were in the studio, but... So, dude, we were sat in the first row, like, <laughs> up front. It was crazy. Like, literal first row. I made eye contact with Golda, and um, she looked into my soul. Dude, she has, like, those really deep, intense stares. I, like, my She's heart so kind of skipped a beat in my chest. Like, to everyone. Everyone. And then we're also here with Jocelyn. Jocelyn's here. Um, I, I don't know if you can tell from my voice, but I am sick. <laughs> and Jocelyn got wisdom teeth surgery yesterday. <laughs> yeah, she looks better than I did, so um, I think that's that's good, honestly. No, I'm not excited <clears throat> for my turn. Oh, God. oh my god, you have to take them out? I, I've never gotten them out. No, but you have to get them later. I have no idea. Oh, well, I feel like you would know by now if you had to really? yeah, oh, yeah. Okay, well, we'll see. Anyways, we are at Momofuku Noodle Bar. So, and um, we're waiting for our food now, so I'll we'll show that when it comes out. Anyways, literally seconds later, and our food came out. So, Tiffany and I got pork, and Jocelyn got chicken. chicken. Oh, yeah, there you go. All right, bye. <laughs> Hi guys, I just got home, ate dinner, and now I'm going to the gym. I literally took off all my makeup because I'm not going to the gym with a full face of makeup. But today was the screening for episode five. If you um, are a Bridgerton fan like me, they gave like a special access code to certain fans if you RSVP'd. So I RSVP'd, I got the, um, <clears throat> I got the link and then my boss let me go home early so I watched the episode and um, I will just say we finally got to see Luke's butt on our TV screens and if you guys don't know where that's from 
I'll try to include a clip of that interview right here. All right, so it's from the Teen Vogue interview or video that they did. Okay. I'm finally gonna see your butt in my TV. I've been waiting for years. My butt in the TV, probably, yeah. I mean, I got the live show. Yeah. <laughs> but, <clears throat> like I said, I'm heading to the gym now. I just like wanted to talk to you guys about that because I find it so like cool and funny that Netflix gives us these opportunities to I guess experience this kind of stuff and then also um tomorrow I'm going back to work and what is that on my window someone just put like business cards hi everyone um I wanted to come on and kind of update you on what's going on so um forgive me if you hear construction in the background there's things going on outside it's so hot this week i think new york's going through a heat wave right now so if you hear the fan in the background that's why um but today i went to miniso and i bought this hair drying cap and I, I just wanted to show you guys because I thought it was really cute it's um this BT21 collection for some reason the store is having an insane like collection with BTS stuff which I've never seen before and it was quite fascinating seeing like all the new items they had they had like phone holders they had these they had totes like water bottles they honestly had a lot so if you are a bts fan then i would advise you to go on over and check out uh the collection because it's actually really really cool i just thought it was really cute they had all of the they had all of the characters when i work from home it's really hard to work just on one screen because i'm on the emr and i'm also looking at other things so for me it's a lot easier if i have a dual screen and at work i have two screens so i wanted to kind of mimic that feel at home um so i'm going to show you what my setup looks like right now also please disregard the really messy closet and i also changed this part of my room so up here you'll see i have a projector i used to have that on a tripod and i would project it onto like this sheet that goes across my closet but now i can just project it onto a blank wall in my room and that's how i watch tv sometimes so it's really interesting how much i've changed my room over the years but i just thought it was exciting to show you guys that okay so i'm going to show you my setup right now all right i'm going to be quite honest with you i just finished watching bridgerton which is why i have my laptop this is essentially my setup so i have a plant here some pens and pencils the essential like gum i have hand sanitizer i have lotion um like a nail clipper nail file some post-its and then this is my desktop screen which is an apple and then i also have my dual screen here which is just a uh like the display monitor so i hooked it up together so that this is my dual screen and that is essentially my setup it was kind of hard figuring out how to have this whole layout just because it is two really huge screens i want to say that the dell and the apple are maybe like 17 18 inches so it takes up a large amount of space on my desk and so i had to rearrange a lot but i think this setup works hi guys um welcome back to the channel today i am working from home and i just spent like a good time this morning reviewing patients old labs and then i have a list of patients i need to see tomorrow so i like took some notes on them and it's it's just like something for me to bring into the room when i'm seeing the patients and then i had to call like a rehab center because they were not sure about a patient's medications and stuff like that so that's what i do on my days where i'm working from home um also, just a side note, I painted my nails the other day and I think they're a really pretty color. It kind of reminds me of um, like a Bridgerton blue. And so if you are curious what color it is, it is Essie Sky Jelly in the Jelly Gloss color. It was a really nice color, so that's why I got it. 
but now I'm getting a bunch of messages for follow-up appointments so we're gonna try to respond to those make some appointments and then later today I'm going to a stronger equinox class and last time I went to one of these classes it absolutely destroyed me I was sore for i want to say like a couple of days which doesn't really happen when i go to the gym because i go so frequently but this class was crazy and it killed me so um that's why i'm going again i really think that it helped or it was like actually making me stronger hence the name so that's why i'm going to one today I have some, so those are the messages coming in, but I have some exciting things that I bought recently. Let me grab them and then I'll show you. I literally have a problem with buying things because I just can't seem to not spend money or stop spending money. But what is this brand called? Crave Beauty was having a like buy one, get one on the Beat the Sun sunscreen. And I've heard really good things about it. So I decided to get two. And then um, to reach free shipping, I needed to get something else. So I got the Great Barrier Relief Serum. And I've always wanted to try this. I didn't know how small this was. And actually, like, if you look at the product, product itself, um, like, through the bottom, you can see that it's not completely filled all the way to the bottom. Which is a little sketch, but... We'll see how the product is. I've heard really good things about this as well. So hopefully it's good. It's got, I think it's got niacinamide in it. Uh, let's see if I could find the ingredients. Yeah, so it's got niacinamide and 10% tamanu oil. Not really sure what that does, but I think it's supposed to do great things for your skin. And then, I, I don't know if you guys remember this, but I. I used to have like beat headphones, but then they broke while I was at the gym. And so all this time I've been just using my AirPods, but these don't really stay in my ear when I run. So I bought these little inserts that have hooks that like stay in your ear and those helped. But then it was just so inconvenient because I couldn't put the AirPods back into the case. Like after I finished using them, I would have to take off the the attachment and then put them back in the case which was really annoying to me so i decided to invest in a new gym head thingy these are the power beats pros i think these kind of have like the circular thing that go around your ear and i tried them out the other day they stay in your ear the sound quality is pretty good so i'm excited about these and i actually got them engraved a friend of mine and I signed up for a 5k in September and so I'm hoping that I'll get good use out of these while I train for that and I really don't know why I decided to sign up for it because I'm not a runner at all and if you guys know me like I pretty much hate cardio but I do it because it's good for your heart health. I've been thinking about doing a 5k and then when she mentioned it to me i somehow just signed up for it with her so i'll be doing a 5k in september um and maybe i'll show you guys what i do for training because i'm not very good at running and i honestly don't love it that much but it's a nice way to challenge myself all right i'm gonna go back to work now mm -hmm. 